Help me out. I believe in a few seconds. What is good driver? These are the latest. Please don't come again. Takes guts to win that. What is it this time? Ah, let's go. What the hell was that? Yeah, Shablip Tayyig was cheating at the cards last night. Thought I'd teach him a lesson. Some fucking lesson. <laughs> Bet he doesn't cheat again. Damn. The cops are on us. No shit. Think you can lose him? You gonna pull this shit, you gotta learn to drive. Get behind us. Just let me off anyway. Mr. Shen! Mr. Shen! What's the problem? I bought a whole shipment of birds from the mainland, but they keep losing! I think they must have been feeding them sawdust or something! Remind me not to bet on them. Yes, exactly! I'm just about bankrupt. My only hope is to get the insurance money on the shipment and my truck. Your truck? If someone were to steal it and run into the harbor, I'd be safe. Damn! Chicken kanji. <laughs>
It's under control. I'm bringing the suspect in. Excuse me, Mr. Shen! Hey man, how's it going? I just finished another race. I'd have won, but Big Nose Chang cheated. He called the cops on me just as I was getting to the finish line. I barely escaped. Will you teach him not to pull that shit on your turf? Yeah, sure. Yeah. a man's car? Don't you know that's how he makes a living?
Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. No problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. He won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft with, too, Wei. It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then where will you be? <laughs> if you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Wei. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding... Oh my god! So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But, you know, her bark is worse than her bite. That I know. How about her meat cleaver? Ha! <laughs> That's worse than her bark for sure. Now, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with when- Don't scratch the paint! He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted with work. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. My mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, I mean, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too. And that drove her crazy. Bad enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too?
Here we are. Ah, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the garden temple. Well, yes. But they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told them they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. All right, next we need to pick up the wedding cake. He's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? <clears throat> yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she, you know, she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Wei. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. No, it's okay, Peggy. You know, it's good to remember where you came from and where you're going. Hey, isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Way slow down. Peggy, if we don't catch that bed, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Fast, fast, go fast! I just want the cake. What? This is my cake! Mine! Look, I don't know what Dog Eyes is paying you, but it's not worth it for a wedding cake. I don't know no Dog Eyes! This is for my wedding! My wedding is going to be perfect, you hear? Perfect! You want this cake, you're going to have to pry from my dead fingers, you hear? Tell Winston I got the... Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. Oh, thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that movie. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no. Not anymore. Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. Man needs brothers, uncles, and sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up if you want. <laughs> you're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, but, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly on you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here. I'll be right back. Here. <clears throat> uh, when it when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. Uh, I, I am here and not here. I uh, love flowers. Ah, brother, so true, so true. You don't belong here. What is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? I guess failure is impossible. Hey, who are you? Well, who is anyone? when we are all each other, part of a single great organism that never dies. Ah, brother. So true, so true. say no. Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? <laughs> I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. The cops, perfect. Hiya. Uh, Winston is not gonna like this. Thank you, Wei. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you're gonna be my sister, the least I can do is help out with your wedding. Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. 
Now, sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect, it never is. But you have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope, I know, women's intuition. It's the same with Winston, he talks tough, but underneath he's a very caring man, that's why I love him. Thanks. That's the secret, you do what you have to do, but you always remember your family. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. Thanks for being so helpful, Way. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. Queenie Wong is a real fixin'. I wouldn't even tell you about her, but I can't keep up anymore. You big man in the night market, but you don't buy nothing? This is going to hurt your reputation almost as much as that shirt you got on. What do you have that's a little different? A man like you needs a good bed. I could help with that. Make sure your nights are as relaxing as possible. I'll pay now. Thank you. Someone will deliver it soon. I hope you enjoy it. Best you will see on the street right here. I know you want to buy from me. Ah, oh, come on. How can you with this quality post like this? Come on, can you go? Let me teach you how to do
Is it yours? Not bad. You can trust me. Come on. Like to improve Our prices are excellent. I'm so pleased you found something. Happy to serve you. We're happy to serve you. My humble shop thanks you for your incredible business. Takes guts to wear that. Again soon. Bye bye. Hey man, I'm stuck in traffic. I'll get there as soon as possible. Don't worry, there's still time. Don't start without me. I'm so happy you can make it. Congratulations. Peggy, you look stunning. <laughs> Thanks, Wei. <laughs> 
You both must be very happy. Yes. The best day of your life, so they say. You know what? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Oh, Uncle Paul, welcome. My guest of honor. I'm happy to be here. It's nice to see someone who wants to be a good family man. Not enough of that nowadays. Hi. You look absolutely lovely, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Almost as lovely as your mother in law. <laughs> oh, and this is Chu. I expect the food to be. Wait, wait. Fantastic. I got a case of the chairman's favorite wine in my car. I forgot to bring it in. Do you mind grabbing in and making sure they know it's for him? I'm gonna make sure he gets inside, okay? Yeah, sure thing, Winston. You gotta enjoy your day, okay? Where are you parked? Ah, right through there. I'm going, I'm going. Just bring it into the kitchen. Inside. I'll go get help. Ah! Uh -huh. 
she doesn't deserve this. Winston. Winston! Fuck. I need them here now! Uncle Poe! Are you okay? Can you walk? What's going on? What happened to Winston? Okay, come on. We're gonna get you out of here. Uncle Poe! You're hurt! It's nothing but a little scratch. It looks sort of... We gotta get you to a hospital.
a way. It's a sacred thing. My uncle, he's uh, hurt. We need a doctor, now! What is this? What's going on here? My boy, maybe you'll want to leave before our friends, the police, show up. <laughs> Are you gonna take care of my uncle? And if anything happens to him, I'm holding Hello, you personally police? responsible. Oh, thank God. I'll be clear. Okay, okay. Where have you been? Stuck in traffic. It's Hong Kong. Fuck, Raymond. You think showing up for these things is easy for me? I know you've been through a lot, boy. More than we have any right to ask. Now the wedding. It was a massacre, Raymond. A massacre. Winston was a red pole, sure. But his wife? They fucking gunned down his wife on her wedding day. We knew you would become personally attached, Wei. It's inevitable in an operation like this. And seeing something like that would be hard. Hard for anyone. It's war now. No, it's not. You're a cop, all right? Your job is to enforce the law. You can't remember that? I'll pull you out right now. Pull me out? Your job was to get close to Winston. Now, that's not much of a strategy anymore. Get close to? Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. With him gone, I'll be taking his place. You want the chairman? I report to him now. You want the Red Poles? I'm one of them. That's what worries me, Way. You're one of them. You want to give up the best undercover HKPD has ever had? Your best shot taking down the sun on Yi? Exactly. We done? Yeah, we're done. Anything happens to me, you look after. 